Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I am here with a Wild Whisper Design Team project and today I am doing a double page pocket page spread in my December 2016 album. So I'm not doing a December daily but I'm kind of doing December daily just without the daily photos. So a nice December album, Christmassy holiday themed but I don't have photos from every day. So I have a bunch of Wild Whisper project or pocket page cards that I've pulled out here, the three across the top, and I have my two photos at the bottom. Now I had this plan for a while now to do a gold embossing of the Christmas stamp from the Home for the Holidays collection. Everything I'm using from Wild Whisper today is from the Home for the Holidays collection. So I have this scripty word that says Christmas, um, and this collection was designed by Tori Bissell, in case you didn't know. She's here on YouTube as well, so definitely check her out if you want to see more projects as well as the rest of the Wild Whisper Design team over on the Wild Whisper Designs blog. We have lots of projects over there featuring this collection as well as the other collections. So I'm simply taking this stamp and this pocket page card and using my Versamark ink and then using some gold embossing powder. And it already looks beautiful. I wish I could keep the texture of the powder, but you do need to melt embossing powder in order for it to stay permanent. I'm brushing off the excess pieces of embossing powder with a dry brush. That's a tip if you need one. Um, and if you didn't watch my other process videos for this album, definitely check them out. I have a kit that I put together for this album featuring the Wild Whisper Designs papers, and the stamp set and some of the uh, other items from Wild Whisper, so definitely check that out. So now I'm just using my heat tool to heat emboss this. And when you're heat embossing, you want to do both sides of the paper so the paper doesn't warp too much one way. Um, so you'll see me switching it back and forth. And um, definitely let your heat gun get hot enough to make sure all of the powder is melted to get the best outcome. So you can't really tell now, but there's quite a bit of shine on it. And also use a Swiffer dusting cloth to pick up all your excess embossing powder or glitter. So once that was done, I was ready to start decorating more. So I wasn't sure of the title yet. I knew it was going to be Christmas Helpers or Christmas Decorators or something like that. So I'm looking at all of these different alphabet sets that I have. You can see this one's a very bright gold. Um, it looks pretty dull until you see it shine, but... It's not the right shade of gold. I do pick out some of the letters and then I realize I hate it. So I put them back. Um, I'll settle on some tinier letter stickers, which are actually from Heidi Swap, but they're the same gold sparkle and they work really well with this stamped image. So the title ends up being Christmas Decor because I didn't want to use too many letter stickers. But um, I have two photos, one of my boyfriend helping decorate the mini Christmas tree and then my cat helping or hiding from everyone uh, behind the little Christmas tree. So that is what this is going to say, Christmas decor. So these are very tiny letter stickers, but I really like this uh, card here. It matches the stamp set and the paper in this collection. Um, I feature the stamp that mimics the pattern on this card on my previous process video for this album, so definitely check that out. Once this album is finished, which probably won't be until next Christmas if I'm being honest, not 2017, probably 2018, because my projects tend to get away from me and I like to do other things, but when this is done I will have a full flip through featuring all of that. Now the card I'm working on now, it says Home for the Holidays. And I put a cork heart down, which is from Speak Mob Scraps, which you can pick up at the Wild Whisper store in case you want to uh, get a couple more embellishments. And now I'm looking at some of the other pieces I have, like these wood veneer um, from Wild Whisper. And I pull out these three sprigs. Um, they're all different heights, and I'm trying to think of how I can use them to emphasize this card. And what I end up doing is placing them in a little almost like a uh, bouquet um, but facing downward. They're just like little leafy pieces. I'm not sure what plant they're supposed to represent. I'm not uh, an expert on that, but I just glue these down with my quick dry adhesive and that adds a lot more detail to the layout. 
Now I'm going to glue down my little cork heart. Don't use too much glue on those since cork is a porous surface. It will come through if you put too much glue on the back side. And now I get to decorate more. So I did include some sequin mixes in this kit that I wanted to use. Um, you can find a bunch of them in the Wild Whisper store. I'm using one from the Adventure Collection and then another one from Spiegel Mob Scraps from, I think it's called Cozy Up. Cozy something. So I'm using red and green sequins from both those packs to add some more detail. Now for the card on the right hand side, all the way to the right, I'm going to put some beautiful red sequins on some of the holly berries so it gives it more dimension and then I'll do my journaling on that card after. So that once I glue all of those little sequins down, that pretty much finishes up this layout. If you have any questions, please let me know. Be sure to check out Wild Whisper Designs blog. I'll have it linked down below so you can check out all the photos for my project as well as see other projects that you won't want to miss for the Christmas season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!